Greetings, Elder Blacklight, for self-defense. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we're going to be profiling uh, this sister here and uh, her, 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 uh, her program. She calls her, her, uh, her program a show. You got to get out, out of calling your program a show. That's the, a show is like entertainment. A program is, is uh, programming or orientating your people to a uh, different level of consciousness. Basically, she's a reporter, a ringside reporter. Uh, looking into the fight, fight analysis, calling blow by blow uh, description of the fight, and uh, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all give a pretty penny for that, and she's uh, in it f to make you conscious. What's going on? And um, you know, I ain't knocking. You know, if she get paid for it, you know, that's that's between you and her. But uh, what she do with the paper that y'all give her? What she do with the money? Now she give it right back to her enemy. Did she invest it back to her, right back to the enemy? Buying her, uh, did she make her own clothes or whatever, you know. See, you got to learn, we got to learn how to use the enemy's dollar against them. Instead of giving it right back to them, keep it in the community. Find some kind of project to keep it in the community or at least in your family, at least 10 times. And uh, she's talking about uh, this sister named Kizzy. This is a Boulay sister, brilliant scientist, Kizzy. And, and Vicki Dillard speaks. Her program is flynubianqueen.com, tv.com. And she's going to inform you about this sister. She's going to break it down to you right and exact. And I give her credit for doing that. Since I ain't got no money, I got to give her credit. Larry Holmes once said that. Uh... You got a uh, male boule, and you got female boule, black female boule. We're also going to be uh, analyzing uh, this brother here. This brother here, he's going to tell us, Dr. I think he still go by the name of Ali. He says he's a scientist. He's going to break down what's in the vaccine. Now, I think I could just go ahead on a comment on what he, but I want you to watch it. I think I could comment on it, save time, you know, because there's uh, so many things I want to say today. Uh, he's going to tell us that the reason why the Caucasian uh, got a vaccine and he's saying that by us being black people, the vaccine is not going to help us any. It's going to be more harmful than good. Uh, and he's saying that by us having melanin, uh, you know, that's what advantage we have over the 
the Caucasian. So the vaccine is going to do us more harm. And eventually he's just saying, you know, that uh, they got us staying in the house. And we need to be out in the sun. Because the sun, you know, does us good. I say it like this, though. I said you need to, you, you know, go out and get you some sun and some exercise. But he's a, he, he's a, he studied up under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said we came from triple darkness. And we put the sun out, out, out there. So, you know, what was we doing all them years without the sun? Just being black, that's all. We're also going to talk about this brother here. Yeah, this brother here is, was, was in the music. He's in the music. And I like his uh, breakdown of uh, the music industry. What you got to do to uh, get recognition. I'm going to be t talking about... What well, basically today is I'm going to compare today's time with the times back in the day when I was uh, a young fellow. I'm still a young fellow, but I was exploring this system. And, uh, you know, I, I I was I started my music career. I got paid my first money when I was twelve. There's a story behind that of of uh, I think the guy uh, gave us a, a bill that I had to split three ways. The the guy that I was performing for, I was, he hired me to play for his son. He heard me play and he hired me and I played the whole party. And I played a little bit and they played music a little, uh, records a little bit. And then he he was satisfied with my performance and gave me some money. I had a, a combo. I was on drums and I was singing and I had a cat on guitar and a dude on uh, tambourine or something, bongos or something. And uh, we we went. I was living on Finkel and uh, Finkel and uh, Wildermere. You know that's between Dexter and Linwood. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit. And uh, that's coming up next video. We're gonna be. Showing y'all the difference between how y'all think today and how we thought in Detroit or Dexter, Finkel, and Linwood. Peace.